Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to apply your Jamboree nail wraps. So let me adjust this here real quick so that you can see what I'm doing. So I have everything here that I need. I have my heat source with Jamboree mini heater. I have a nail file, an orange stick, a cuticle pusher, and fingernail scissors. And I also have the wraps that I'm going to put on. Now I've already done all of my prep work. I've uh, pushed back my cuticles. I've washed my hands with Dawn dish soap and I used our nail prep cleanser uh, to clean them off after that. So let me start. The first thing I'm going to do is my thumb and I've already cut the wrap when I did my other thumb. So I'm just going to take this off. I always use the orange stick to pick the wraps up so that I don't get the oils from my skin on the back of the wrap that can interfere with the adhesive. So I'm going to turn on the heater and I'm just going to give it a little bit of heat. You don't want to give it so much heat that it starts to curl. That's too much. Now I'm not pushing down on this yet. I'm just, I've just laid it on there. You can see from the sides that it's just sitting on there. Now I'm going to give it some more heat. And then I'm going to push down just the middle, across the top, from the bottom to the top along the middle. Okay. Now I'm going to heat that one side, and I'm going to push it up around the corner there, along the edge, smoothing it out. Now I'm going to heat the other side. This is called the 1-2-3 method, and it works really well to get a smooth application even on curved nails, on domed nails. Because you're warming it up each, each little bit as you push it down, you can shape it to your nail better. So I'm going to give it a little more heat one more time. And kind of go all over, and then I like to push uh, to down the edges again one more time with the rubber end of the cuticle pusher to get a very good seal. Now once your wrap is cool, then you're going to file it in a downward motion to file off the extra. Make sure that you only go in a downward motion so that you don't get any lifting at the tips. And make sure that your nail file is not too worn out. Just like sandpaper wears out, nail files do too, so you need to change them periodically. As you can see that extra is coming off, and there you have it. I'm going to file a little bit more to make sure I get a nice smooth edge on there. Okay, now we can give it a, one last little bit of heat. And I don't know if I can get this to focus very well or not, but hopefully you can see there that it's a very smooth application with no wrinkles on the edges. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you're enjoying your wraps and thank you for joining me today.